Yeah, the first time I got in touch with design thinking was more than five years ago. Actually, it was in 2004 when we, together with Vishal Sikha, our board member for technology and innovation, and myself, supported Hasso preparing his lecture in trends and concepts. As part of that lecture, we had an exercise on design thinking on software lifecycle. And one team, one student team, came back with a pretty unconventional proposal. Throw away software. Can you imagine how this sounded to us? Only taking our time, thinking about it, and stretching our minds a little bit, we changed our perspective on software development and realized there is a great potential to that idea. From that point, on, it was clear for me design thinking is not just another methodology. It's a mindset where you have to constantly push yourself to see the world from a different perspective. Only when you take your time, think about, about ideas and proposals and not instantly reject them, then you are able to change your perspective. Let's turn the world upside down. How? Since we are here in a circus, let me show you how. <laughs> to me, changing perspectives is one of the core elements of innovation. To put yourself into the shoes of the customer, to see the world through his eyes, develop empathy, that is what helps us to build new solutions and better solutions which are desirable. We are literally bombarded by many different and new ideas when working with students and users at the same time. And this is exactly the reason why we are here, working closely with the D School and HPI, and for the Innovation Center here in Potsdam, we have a rule, no projects without user involvement. And the users come from companies of all sizes, from Big Point, from Charité, as well as startups. But now, let's have a look at what can be achieved when applying design thinking. The Oncolizer is a iPad um, software, which has also been now transferred to Android systems. And what it does, it allows us to analyze patient data in real time. And um, I just look briefly in here. And the data you see here is a test demo um, database of 15,000 patients from the Charité. Um, the names and birth dates are anonymized and scrambled. And of course, we are interested in patients. Um, we, we need to help those patients um, that have received many chemotherapies and let's say uh, let's say they have received at least 15 chemotherapies and these chemotherapies didn't work you can swipe it and this is all what uh, was received by the patient it was a diagnosis when he was 59 years old then he got surgery then he got a couple of radiotherapies and uh, chemotherapies and all this is done in real time what we have here now is the first time in history that we can analyze patient data in real time. Now think of the old system where the doctors went through the clinic with all the patient files. Now they have more time for the patient. And on the other hand, it's much easier and much quicker to design new studies. 